what kind of legacy is it if in order for me to teach these lessons my daughter has to go watch videos when I could be there and teach her these things in person we're starting to open up and see like people are starting to realize like why is it that I'm doing everything for everybody else? What you're talking about, Jeff? Like, why am I living this life and everybody's plugging in? And, and that's fine. I like to be a source of energy. I like to be a source right. of inspiration. But make no mistake, like, I'm first. And then, oh, you can't be selfish. You want to talk about God? You want to talk about the whole thing? Like, let's talk about it. Like, you know, the high tide lifts all the boats. If the plane's going down, there's a reason that the very first instruction that you get on an airplane is to put your mask on. Now, what most dudes will say, what most men will say is, no, dude, fuck that. I'm going to take care of my kids and my wife. I do it all for them. And I'm like, that sounds really noble, bro. It sounds really cool. But here's the problem. There's no fucking air on the plane. And so because you decided to be Captain you know, Badass, now you all die. Because you have no air and you can't go put anybody else's masks on. So put your mask on first. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Get your business right. Get your finances right. And then you can help other people. But well, we live in this day and age, of, and whether it's religion, whether it's education, we've been programmed since we were little kids, like, sacrifice, give up everything for everybody else. And you're like, yep. that's not how the game was played. I've read the Bible. I know it's where it's like religiously, you know what I'm saying? Jesus didn't yep. do that. Jesus ate, he drank, he walked around, he taught. Why would I not, why would I not do the same thing? By doing it the way I was doing it, by spreading myself so thin, by running myself absolute ragged, I'm not able to provide any real value at all. And so, here's the thing guys, like I come first, I come first. And what I realized, man, I realized that you just gotta take time for you in the beginning of the day. Get yourself into a right mental state in the beginning of the day, and then you can accomplish whatever you need to accomplish. It's funny because like all these canned kind of responses that I've had for so long, I'm having to kind of reconfigure based on this new framework uh, and this new state of mind that I'm in. Uh, but I can't wait to talk about it. Can't wait to really put some value uh, out there and hope people get something uh, a lot out of it. From here forward, I come first. Every post, every video, every vlog, and there's still gonna be content. Like, the, the content's not changing. The content, like, I, I enjoy it. I love that part. But I'm doing it for me now. Like, for me, I come first. Like yesterday, getting up and doing my meditation, doing my gratitude journal, then being able to sit and have breakfast with my wife and my daughter, being able to go wake up my daughter and pull her out of her crib and bring her downstairs and experience those beautiful, beautiful moments that I'm not gonna be able to have forever. Um, it's just super important.